Uh, as as administrator of IHM, I have been here for only four months, four five months. So for me also, it is a new experience. But uh, nowadays we don't have a principal also, so I have charge of both principal as well as administrator. Now IHM, as uh, you are covering the institute today, it is uh, one of the uh, most promising institute which we can uh, have in our state. And uh, since I'm uh, state ko economy tourism based cha, ya tourism ko manpower ami create ganu sakshu through IHM. So I uh, see a very fulfilling, a very good, uh, promising future for the students uh, who pass out from IHM. There is many events like uh, student exchange program kind of thing wherein the students of IHM uh, can go to other colleges and similarly other students can come here, learn from here. Uh, plus, we are uh, planning to organize a food festival also in Gangtok, maybe uh, in the city itself, so that uh, for the public also it will be a very good uh, new thing and uh, it will attract tourists also. And Sahu, academic in charge of this institute, joined this institute in 1992. And this institute uh, initially was set up uh, during the year 1990 in the joint collaboration of Government of India and Government of Sikkim. So it is also affiliated to the National Council so for uh, hotel management under the Ministry of Tourism Government of India. So with the prime objective to produce the manpower for the hotel industry as well as the hospitality industry. During 2000, uh, so our institute is upgraded to a full-fledged institute of hotel management to offer degree programs. So that is a BSc in hospitality and hotel administration. So from that till date, so we have produced approximately so 2000 odd people so who are working as well in india as well as in abroad my name is uh, Chiring Tonga Bhutia and I'm assistant lecturer of IHM Gangtok. I look after front office department and uh, in brief I would like to uh, tell you about the department. Front office is as you know one of the major department of the hotel and uh, it is responsible for the sale of rooms and uh, maximum room generation is being done by the sale of the rooms and then uh, small hotels as you know there are small hotels three types of hotels small medium and large hotels small hotels are basically <coughs> they work on manual system and medium hotels they work on uh, semi-automatic so that means a combination of manual and uh, computerized that is automatic systems right from reservation reception to check out in big hotels it's divided into three sections that that is reception information and cash but then the team who is working under this department are known as frontex agent reception is one of the sections of front office which uh, welcomes receives the guest so now talking about now ev uh, each and every hotels they are uh, they are uh, work on the system of computerized system so there are different kinds of software depending on the organization size and the fund of the organization so anera uh, competition organized uh, although we got to know about this competition at the last moment and it was from uh, it was an initiative from a chef from kalimpong area but amro uh, ihm institute le participate garyo tesma ra students le pani tya participate garnu payo and it was a very wonderful opportunity plus uh, we were very happy to see that one of our student got the third prize also in that competition and uh, all the all the competition was done in IHM itself, IHM campus mai the contest was the contest ko, uh, maximum uh, rounds and everything was done in IHM. This kind of master chef competition or something uh, which is uh, there in the national level, this to amile garnu paaye bane, this ma participate garnu paaye bane, students ko lagi dheri ramro experience uncha and it will give them much better jobs after they pass out. My name is Karmasi Bhutia and I am a senior faculty out here and I have been teaching for last 20 odd years and uh, I would like to talk about the uh, career perspective of our students after they complete this particular course. This particular uh, hotel industry is one of the uh, most uh, growing industry in the world and the demand of our students is too high. So uh, basically what happens after this course, uh, they directly get employed in one, one of the hotel, railways, airlines, IT sectors. Uh, what I can say is that most of our students who have graduated from uh, this particular college are right now presently working outside, mostly outside India. And they have uh, chosen their own career. Like for example, some of them have joined the catering industries, hospitals. They have joined. They have joined. They opened, they have opened their own outdoor catering units. Many have joined uh, restaurants. Some have joined hotels. Many have joined uh, air airlines and uh, the cruise liners. And uh, many have uh, chosen a different uh, sector. Something like uh, they have joined the bank and the IT sectors. And uh, many of them are working as teachers in in India right now, as present. And uh, and as a chef, uh, what I have seen is that uh, my students who have uh, chosen their career in a kitchen, right now most of them are working in uh, the level of the executive chefs or the corporate chefs in and around India and outside as well. 
So we uh, are having housekeeping practicals for the first years. Uh, generally, we, I'm trying to show them how to do the bed making. This is for the second semester, basically. So we have a double bed. Actually, when we are making a bed in the hotel, we, we have to make sure that the bed is uh, properly made. It should be tightly done. All the bed sheets, it has to look hygienic. It has to look, uh, you know, uh, the appearance and all, it has to be very good. So this is how they start, uh, you know, uh, making the bed. Especially, we have to make sure that the, um, the folds on the foot side should be uh, clearly, uh, you know, it should be clear because uh, generally the hotels, uh, they have two kinds of folds and that is envelope fold and the foot fold. So some hotels follow foot fold or some uh, follow envelope fold. But here for the practicals, we are supposed to show both the folds. So when they go to the industry, at least they don't have problems in uh, doing these uh, during the practicals or when they are into jobs. <laughs> and uh, what courses are offered, how it is beneficial. Very important fact which many people don't know is IHM has till now given 100% placements. We want to uh, communicate, we want to tell people that uh, we all should take interest in this institute and then uh, we all should uh, see that this institute continues. Myself, Kumari Kajal Roy and I am from Jamshedpur and uh, to do my hotel management course of degree course of three years, I came here in Gangtok. When I came here for see, like everything was totally new to me and this college and everything. But uh, while being here for three years, I realized that this college has given me a lot. This college has enhanced my personality and given me a lot of knowledge. Through this college, I went to my, on my training to Vivanta by Tat Surajkun and there also I got to learn and this college has helped me to realize that yes, I have uh, I am a talented person and I can do well even in life and earlier so I would really like to thank this college for enhancing my personality and uh, giving me a lot a lot of knowledge and to pursue this course I would never regret and I am lucky that I am studying here in IHM Gangtok. The basic uh, things about kitchen is taught in the first year when they are students uh, when they are in the first year that's also basically known as a foundation course uh, in food production so where the different cuts of vegetables different cuts of meat cuts of uh, fish are basically taught and all those basic requirements uh, are basically taught in the first year so they deal with uh, continental cuisine in first year and once uh, they come to second year basically we deal with uh, only Indian uh, regional cuisine. So what, uh, how it actually goes is, so basically the students uh, are briefed in the morning. So we plan up a particular menu of any uh, region of India then the students are briefed in the morning about the recipes and they are given an idea how to go about and uh, they enter the food production lab and they start with their pre-preparation of ingredients like basically washing, peeling, uh, pairing, cutting and then they move on uh, with the cooking. And uh, later once the food is uh, done, so we have our cafeteria area. So the food is uh, served to the entire students of the college in this particular cafeteria. So that's uh, why they have also need to learn about the volume production. Hello everyone, I'm Barsha Rai and I'm from Gantok. I am in second year doing my uh, BSc in HNH degree from this prestigious college, IHM Gantok. The degree got it just hospitality industry. We can do other sector also. We can join other sector like ITs and all banking and all. I'd like to do my further studies, masters, then I'd like to become lecturer or maybe a chef, um, an executive chef in the cruise lines and all. Hello, uh, today uh, we are having our uh, third year uh, FND practicals. So they are basically given a theme for Punjabi wedding. So as you can see, they are making some arrangements. Every day we have a uh, new theme. So based on themes, they put on their ideas and uh, the decorations they do on their own. The materials are provided by the pantry, which is there. And uh, based on that, we evaluate. And the practicals, all the practicals also based on uh, the different themes. This is a third year uh, practical or third year kitchen uh, where we normally do international cuisines. So for example, today we are making a French uh, menu. Uh, consisting of a starter, then we are going for a, a main dish which is uh, made with uh, the mutton we are making, uh, stroganoff, it's called uh, stroganoff de buif and uh, to accompany that we are making a risp pilaf and uh, we are making some pom persilies or potato preparation. Taste is, uh, that's the ultimate uh, experience a customer can have but uh, more than the taste what we stress on is the presentation of the dish, presentation of the dish because uh, the adage in cooking industry is a person eats with the eye first before actually tasting the product. So taste definitely uh, carries a lot of uh, importance when you are cooking. But so does the presentation of the food because by looks only you can, you know, you make up your mind whether you are going to eat this or not. Good afternoon everyone, myself Ogun Pazan Lipsha and I am a diploma student. I have joined this course this year only and <coughs> I am I'm, I'm done this diploma because I am looking forward only, only in production area. And this college is very perfect for me because it gives all facilities. We are learning individually and we are very skillful now and because of our good faculty members, our teachers and our good lecturers. <coughs> And I'm very looking forward because this college has given opportunity to many students before and past and 
The placement is really good in other hotels. They give really good placements in other hotels, and that's where I'm looking forward. Thank you. At present, so we are offering the three-year degree program, as well as the, some diploma programs and the craftsmanship programs also. So the basic qualification for the three year is a 10 plus 2. The student has to appear the joint entrance examination, then only they will get the admission or otherwise. So they can be nominated from the state government, so from the education department or if the seat is vacant, so then they can also apply directly to the institute so to take the admission. In case of the diploma courses, so they can directly approach to the institute on the basis of their criteria and educational qualification age. So we also provide the admission to all of them. All the facilities and amenities we are providing here, we have the standardized uh, uh, lab in the like uh, the food production, FMB service, housekeeping and the computer lab also. So we are also participating so different uh, tourism activities of the government of India as well as the state government. Our uh, faculty member who are already they are so they have a well trained and they have the uh, qualification and they have the great knowledge in their own field and they provide the best education in the field of the hospitality and the tourism in the state of Sikkim. So we are also having a training hotel that is Mount Jopuno at PS Road. So in that so we send our students for the online training program. The guests who are staying there so they can have uh, so the student uh, interference and also so our student also they will get the online training program while they are handling the guest so we are coming from all over the India. Our future plan is uh, so to set up uh, one boys hostel and another girls hostel in the campus so that more and more students so they will be uh, get the accommodation and study in our college and in addition to that so we are also planning to come make with the special uh, sponsored scheme so the girls hostel as well as the boys hostel staff quarter etc in the campus itself and the master degree program recently with the government of india we are also tying off to provide the master degree program so in our so college